Hey guys, how's it going? So in the last tutorial on Vesta, I showed you guys how to download a crystallographic information or a SIF file for various elements or compounds. And in the next tutorial, I showed you guys about how to handle the interface of Vesta and what all this information right here means. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to simulate an XRD pattern or rather a powder XRD pattern for your given crystal system. So to do that, all you need to do is you need to click on utilities and then go to the powder diffraction pattern. And now before we do that, let me just show you what a typical XRD pattern looks like. However, you should or you must already know it if you are watching this tutorial, but still. So here we have some of the examples of typical XRD patterns for various compounds. So we have a Zeno nanoparticle XRD pattern another XRD pattern for NACL powder. So typically what you have is you have the diffraction angle to theta in degrees on the x-axis and you have the intensity in arbitrary units on the y-axis and then you have the peaks that is the XRD peaks and then you have the labels for these peaks given in terms of the HKL planes that is the Miller indices. So coming back to our Vesta program so you just go ahead on utilities go to powder diffraction pattern and then click on conditions so here currently it has two um, you know radiations of these two intense uh, wavelengths and these relative intensities coming in so let me just change that to a single radiation of this wavelength so basically it is a CUK alpha radiation and if you you know before it was I guess it was also taking the CUK beta radiation it's, or something like that so we just change it to one so we have the CUK alpha radiation and of intensity one and then you go ahead and click on calculate so when you go to the plot you will see that it has simulated an XRD pattern for your silicon crystal and then to get more information about this you can click on reflections and here you will have a lot of information like the HKL plane of all the peaks so all the HKL indices that is similar indices for all the planes corresponding to all the peaks so you have that then you have the corresponding lattice parameter um sorry the interplanar spacing then you have the structure factor the real part and the imaginary part and then you have the mod of the structure factor and then you have the position of the peak so the peak on the 28 degree that is right here as the Miller indices 111 that is it corresponds to the 111 plane then you have the intensity so as you can see it was the highest intensity peak in this whole pattern so it has been normalized to 100 percent and then you have the multiplicity which is another very 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 important part of your powder pattern so it is a very crucial information and then you have the wavelength I guess I'm not really sure what this means and then you have the phase so that's how you simulate the XRD pattern and if you want to compare it with the you know with some other source if you are not so sure if I studied it properly then you can similarly um, easily you know google it and then compare the patterns so here we have the XRD patterns of silicon I guess so let's pick up this one okay so they have the pure silicon and then the they have the another silicon so let's just have a look at the pure silicon so they had their first peak at the 28 degrees we have just like us um, sorry I clicked somewhere else okay so just like our pattern right here they have their first peak at 28 degrees okay and then they have the another peak at something between 45 to 50 degrees same intensity and so on so you can say that it is a pretty good simulator and then you have another simulator pattern i guess from another software like crystal studio and they all correspond with each other pretty well so that's how you simulate the xrd pattern using vesta so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in case you are new to Vesta or you haven't watched any of my previous tutorials then 
you should rather go ahead and watch those because I show you how to download and install Vesta and then how to visualize a crystal structure and use all these features right here. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in case you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.